Hi everyone, it's the Math Sorcerer here. In this video, I want to talk about a book that I purchased a long time ago. And I bought it mainly as a reference, and it ended up actually being a pretty good book. Uh, it's called Modern Algebra and Introduction, and it's written by John R. Durbin, and this is the second edition. This book is unique from other books uh, in a few ways. Let's take a look inside. Okay, so this is the first page of the table of contents. So chapter one is on mappings and operations. So I think that's kind of interesting how he starts with mappings and then goes on to invertible mappings and then uh, some stuff with composition. Then in chapter two, he goes on to uh, groups and then right away permutations, subgroups, and then groups and symmetry. So maybe that's why uh, Durbin chose to talk about mappings first so that he could jump into uh, permutations uh, right away in chapter two. Chapter three is on equivalence, congruence, and divisibility. And then chapter four is on more group theory. It looks like cosets, Lagrange's theorem, isomorphism, more on isomorphism, and then uh, Cayley's theorem. So kind of a unique approach. Talks about functions early on so that he can get into uh, groups and symmetry. Let's keep going. So if you're wondering what a ring is, well, Durbin does it quite early in the book. Um, he goes into rings in chapter 5, and he does a good job. I've actually uh, read uh, some of the ring theory sections in this textbook. He talks about uh, some more specific things, uh, the familiar number systems. Then he goes back to groups, talks about group homorphisms. So that's, again, uh, kind of a unique approach. Um, he talks about rings before talking about uh, homomorphisms of groups. Then he goes into applications of permutation groups. And there it is again, more on permutation groups. Then there's an entire chapter on symmetry. Um, that's another thing that I have used this book for. Uh, this is one of the few books that I have that has this type of stuff in it. So it makes it a quite unique book. Then he goes on to some standard stuff with polynomials quotient rings, again, pretty standard, field extensions, polynomial equations, and then uh, geometric construction, constructions and algebraic coding. This is the last page of the table of contents, and he goes into lattices and Boolean algebras, and then there are a few appendices. Let's look further into the book. So Durbin talks about symmetry quite early on. This is page 48 of the book. Uh, and he's talking about groups and symmetry. So he jumps into it uh, early on in the book, talks about uh, rotations and reflections and translations. So very, very early in the book. Again, that's mainly what I have used this book for because it does have a lot uh, on these symmetry groups. Chapter nine is entirely devoted to symmetry. Let's take a look. So he talks about finite symmetry groups and then goes from there. As you can see from the pictures, uh, he does give uh, lots of illustrations, which is really important when trying to under understand um, symmetry groups, right? So I think this is a really, really good book um, to learn about this type of stuff because it's not found uh, in other books. The exercises in this book are not so difficult. This is considered a beginner book on abstract algebra. So in theory, if you read through the book uh, carefully, you should be able to do most of the exercises. Sure, you'll get stuck on some of the problems, but that is normal, right? It is uh, abstract algebra. The readability of this book is quite good. Uh, it's written for people who are new to abstract algebra. So again, it's a beginner book. And it actually does a pretty good job uh, in that respect. So overall, I think this is a really good book for beginners. Uh, keep in mind, I use this book uh, mainly as a reference for symmetry groups. But if you're looking for an additional abstract algebra book, uh, this is certainly one uh, to consider. The book is Modern Algebra and Introduction, and the author is John R. Durbin. This is the second edition. That's it.